Going Linux screencast number nine. Using test disk. Welcome to this Going Linux screencast. I'm your host, Larry Bushy. In this screencast, we will be covering how to install and use test disk to recover disk partitions. This Going Linux screencast is one in a series of screencasts produced by the Going Linux team as part of the Going Linux podcast. In this screencast, we used an HP Pavilion DM4 computer running Ubuntu Mate 15.04 Linux and used test disk version 6.14-2. Is free data recovery software that allows you to recover lost disk partitions and make non bootable disks bootable again. It's open source and cross platform. It runs on DOS, including FreeDOS, Windows, Linux, several of the BSD operating systems, and Mac OS X. On most Linux distributions, Test Disk is available in the software repositories or the software manager. On Ubuntu Mate, the software manager is located under System, Administration, Ubuntu Software Center. Search for Test Disk. And here it is. For more information, click on the name of the application and you'll see a description of test disk just to verify that this is the correct software. You'll see here it says test disk, disk recovery tool. It includes photo rec for recovering photos and other files, but we'll be using test disk alone for this screencast. Click the Install button. The installation begins. It asks for your system password, since you are installing software. And now the installation actually starts. When the installation is completed, the progress bar vanishes, and you have the option now to remove the software if you decide at a later date that you don't want test disk installed anymore. Okay, now that we have test disk installed, let's use it to recover a partition. I have an external hard drive that's about 160 gigabytes. I will now plug that external hard drive into the USB slot. And in a second or two, it should come up on the screen. Here we go. So it's a 160 gigabyte hard drive. It is containing a couple of screenshots and an image file from back in 2012. This is an image of a computer that I had created back then as a backup. It's not uncommon for us to have these kinds of backups on external hard drives and sometimes the partition that it's on gets accidentally deleted. I'm going to intentionally delete the partition that this is on right now in order to illustrate how test disk can be used to recover an accidentally deleted partition. I'm going to use a partition editing program called gparted to delete the hard drive partition. If you'd like additional information on using a partition manager, see our screencast on using gparted. Now let's use gparted software to go and look at the 160 gigabyte hard drive. Now it shows up here as 149 gigabytes, primarily because there's some additional unallocated space over here. 
and for technical reasons the displayed number of gigabytes in Gparted is not exactly the same as it appears to be on the hard drive itself. So here's the partition, this ext2 formatted partition that contains those screenshots and the image folder. So if I now unmount that partition, you see that the icon has gone away on the Ubuntu desktop, and now I go in and delete that partition. Once I click this button with the check mark to apply the operation, the partition will actually be deleted. A warning comes up. There we go. So now, as you can see in Gparted, there is the entire hard drive with no files on it, or it appears to have no files on it. Now the secret to using test disk is to use it before you do anything else with the hard drive. So if you have actually written any new files, created new partitions, then all bets are off. But if you have just deleted the partition, as I have done, and you've done that accidentally, then certainly test disk will be able to recover the partition. If you have done anything with the hard drive prior to running test disk, but after deleting the partition, test disk may not be able to recover your deleted partition. Test disk is a command line tool, so on many Linux distributions, the shortcut to open a command line is Control alt t and here is a command terminal right here. And now all we need to do to run test disk is sudo sudo runs as administrator and we want to run test disk as administrator because it is accessing our system files it will ask us for our password of course and now it gives us three options option to create a new log file append to an existing log file or don't create a log file log files are good if something goes wrong in the middle of an operation so for programs like test disk that offer to create a log file go ahead and create one because if something goes wrong in the middle of your operation the log file can often give you a clue as to where things went wrong so that you can correct it i don't expect that anything will go wrong here but let's create a log file anyway as i'm navigating through the terminal window to move the cursor the highlight between different selections, you use the up and down arrow or the left and right arrow, depending on where you are. So to select the 160 gigabyte hard drive, I use the down arrow. The highlight appears on that 160 gigabyte hard drive. And you can see that proceed is selected below. So if I press the enter key, it will now take me to the next screen. The partition type for Windows computers and for Linux computers typically is Intel PC partition. And if you have other types of file formats that you're trying to recover, you may want to use another selection. But since this is a Linux formatted hard drive that we're recovering, I'm just going to leave it set on Intel and press Enter. The next step is to analyze the current partition structure and look for recoverable partitions. So I will simply press the enter key. Now test disk did not find a bootable partition. So in order to find a non bootable partition, I will press enter to execute as you see at the bottom of the screen, the quick search. So it will search through and it has found a Linux partition that is recoverable. That's the one labeled Linux. So I will now press enter to get to the next screen. At the bottom you'll see that it offers to do a deeper search. It's already found the partition that I need so I don't need to execute a deeper search. So I'll use the right arrow key to move to the selection that says write partition structure to the disk. 
and press enter. It asks for a confirmation that this is what you want to do. It is writing to the disk at this point once you press Y for yes. And it's very quick in this case. It's actually completed already. I can press the enter key and it takes me back to the main screen. So I'll use the arrow key to move down to the selection for quit. Press enter and it takes me back to the disk selection. So I'll use the right arrow key to go to quit. Press enter and I'm back at the command line. So now let's take a look and see what has happened. So let's go to places, open a file manager and you'll see that our 160 gigabyte volume is still here. It's not mounted but if I click on it in the user interface you see that once again the folder and the two screenshots exist and if I go into gparted one more time to see how it looks in the partition manager software select the 160 gigabyte hard drive and you can see that the partition has indeed been recovered. This concludes our Going Linux screencast. Thanks for watching. Theme music provided by Mark Blasco at podcastthemes.com.